place. Your Mobius buddies ever happen to mention that the Queen of Blades wants these artifacts too? Hey, they just give me the missions, man. What's it matter anyway? Putting that bitch down would be doing everyone a favor. I thought it was just about the money with you, Tychus. Nothing says I can't do my part for humanity and get paid well for my trouble. Right. Big wheels keep on turning. Time for a bold, yeah. unstoppable plan. Must be hard, man. Seeing the Queen of Blades out in the world again. How much do you know about Kerrigan, Tosh? I had some friends in the Ghost Academy. That girl was a legend even before she disappeared from the program. There's a few that know the truth. How the Queen of Blades came to be. She's a creature of pure rage now. Oh yes, it's her or us. If we don't kill her, she'll slaughter us all. This is Donnie Vermillion live from UNN. Tonight, we're going to discuss the infamous Queen of Blades. Scientists and military insiders have long speculated that the enigmatic alien is in fact an infested human. That's right, Donnie. Is it possible that the leader of the Zerg has a human heart? More importantly, Kate, could this mean some kind of Terran-Zerg alliance is possible? Donnie, there's never been any evidence at all to suggest that infested humans retain their free will. You make a good point, Kate. The question is then, how do we kill her? That's one I think we all can agree on. If humanity is to survive, the Queen of Blades needs to be eliminated. Gotta hand it to you, Chief. Stealing an artifact out from under the Zerg and the Protoss? You sure go big. That Zerg woman seemed to know you. She really rattled you, didn't she? Me and her, well, we go back a ways. She was a ghost once. Back then, we were hooked up with Manx and fighting to get rid of the old Confederacy. <laughs> we made a pretty good team. What happened to her? She was a casualty of war. No offense, Doc. But I really don't like to talk about it. I understand. If you ever change your mind, I'm here. Sir, you should check out the research console. I've been hearing strange stories from the crew of late. Unexplained noises, strange visions, voices in the dark. As it, these things are haunted. Superstitious nonsense. These artifacts are completely inert and they're contained down here in the lab. There is some trace radiation, but I don't see how they could affect things elsewhere on the ship. Heaven forbid we run across alien tech that messes with our primitive little monkey brains. Just keep a close eye on them, Doc.
right, sir? Confronting Kerrigan again after all these years. We've got to stop her, Matt. No matter what she's after. Well, we gave her a setback today. The artifacts are obviously important to her. I just wish we knew why. Jim. We've received her. Jim, refugee populations from across the sector have been using Meinhof as a staging point. But with so many people in close proximity, an epidemic of some kind has started sweeping through the camps. Please. My people need help. We've got to do something before it's too late. So what are we looking at, Doc? Our readings indicate some kind of bio-infestation is spreading through the refugee camps. Even the buildings are being covered by it. I've seen this kind of thing before. It's a Zerg virus. All we can do is burn it out. Every one of those infested buildings has to be destroyed. But where are all the people? Oh no. Those things are infested refugees? This is a nightmare. Yeah. This ain't good at all. It looks like they burrow underground by day and emerge only at night. The virus must make them vulnerable to the high UV output of Meinhof Star. Then we'll hit the infested buildings by day and protect our base at night. Don't worry, Doc. We'll contain this thing. spreading to this camp. I want a perimeter set and some bunkers in place now. You going sweet on that doctor, Lady Jimmy. Can't see why Let's else we'd keep fighting for these damn dirt farmers. Say the word. You gonna give me orders? Why not? SCV ready. Nightfall in 30 seconds. Add on complete. SCV ready. Ready. In the rear with the gear. 
The doctor is in. Add-on complete. Big job. What's going on? Yes. I got schematics to build them hellions you saw in Marsara. Should be good down there. shine, boys. Now it's our time to do some damage. Is that some sort of nest? You better destroy it. SCV ready. Done. 
Insufficient Vespine gas. Gangway, you gonna give me orders? Sector's clear, Jim. Better move on to the next one. For me to kill. Certain. Uh, I'm in a heap of trouble. Why not? The Grim Reaper has arrived. Detecting any more infested structures in that sector, Jim. Looks like that sector's clear, Jim. Better move on to the next one. Yeah, from above. By the number. Alright, this sector is clear. Nice work, boys. Now move on to the next. 
secondary. Nightfall in 30 seconds. Set some guards. They'll be coming again soon. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Overtime. Scans are picking up a unique Zerg biosignature. It appears to be a burrowing creature that is underground during the day and emerges only at night. Sir, if you kill one of those creatures, Stedman can study it and perhaps learn something. Additional supply depots required. Human? Nothing I can't handle. On the way. Oh, that's all. All right. Bad news. Uh, I'm in a heap of trouble. Yeah, yeah. I'm listening. All right. Nothing I can't handle. Barricade. 
Get some troops down there now. You know, I think I saw this in a movie once. Daybreak in 30 seconds. All right. Nothing I can't handle. Don't forget, you have to be back by dark. The Grand Reaper has arrived. It's your dime. I'm listening. Death from... What? You want something? Baron, move up. Armed and ready. Can't wait. Fear the Reaper man. Let's do this. Under attack. 
I'm not detecting any more infested structures in that sector, Jim. signs left. I'll highlight their locations on your map. did it, Jim. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Now I've got to get my people somewhere safe. It ain't gonna be so easy, darling. This whole sector's crawling with Zer. There's got to be somewhere out there the aliens haven't touched. Some undiscovered paradise waiting just for us. Thanks for joining us. Our own Kate Lockwell is reporting live from the refugee ship Skinner 2 in orbit around the planet Meinhof. Donnie, the death toll out here is soaring. Massive refugee fleets like this one are struggling to reach the safety of the core worlds. Many of them won't. They're short on food, water, Kate, and hope. we'll discuss how the Dominion will rescue those worlds when we get there. There's a lot of talk about rescue among the refugees, but they're pinning their hopes on paramilitary and rebel groups such as Raiders Ra Kate. Live from a refugee ship over Meinhof, where everyone eagerly awaits the Dominion's return. Up next, a Vermilion commentary. Refugees, are they really our responsibility? You're all heart, Donnie. <laughs>